Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video I want to just share my thoughts um, on some pastel toned pencil sets that I have. Um, I have been asked um, with a couple of requests that said if I could share my thoughts on the pastel or pencils by Astra which you've seen in and, ab in and about on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd also um, share my thoughts on these pencils that I purchased which are the 80 Brute Funa oily pencils. They're not in here, they're a very budget friendly pencil um, and I purchased them because um, well they had some unique colours and then I thought I'd also include my Holbein's in here as well because um, of course they have a pastel set so let's get started um, so none of my pencils are actually in here I will show you them first so this is not a proper proper review it's more of a like well I guess you could call it a sort of a review but I haven't really coloured anything um, entirely in those sets but I am going to show some colouring on camera um, and a little piece of you know just colouring that I've done with each of them so these are my um, Holbein pencils and this is the full set I have taken a few pencils out but the pastel coloured pencils are within um, you know sort of interdispersed within here so you've got the um, usual uh, coloured tones that you have and then you've got the pastel tones some are, some are there as you can see here a few here a few here so yes um, I did purchase the 50 pastel set initially before I sort of tried to invest in the whole set um, and I did swatch those but what I did is because I didn't buy the full 150 set and I bought the 100 and then I, I bought some open stock um, they're all all the pastel ones are within this pencil case and then I will show you the Astralo ones so these are the um, Astralo ones I took a few out because like I said I chose a few colours and I did colour some bees um, and I'll show you the result with that and then I thought I'd, I'd um, do a little bit of colouring with them on camera so that you can see um, sort of my thoughts or you can hear my thoughts about it and see what it looks like so these are the um, uh, pastel ones um, and then so you've got 50 of those and of course in the whole buying pastel sets you've got 50 um, of course these are a sort of a comparison because they're not in the same class of pencil in terms of you've got the budget friendly ones which are basically the uh, the pastel and these ones which are the brute funa oily now this set I've removed the few again is a very very budget friendly one I mean I purchased these for they were 19.99 but there was already some money off so they were about something like 13.99 and there was a further 15% off so I got them for 11 pounds something they are very sort of you know budget friendly you know 11 pounds something and I'm not so keen on the quality of them in terms of like if you look at this pencil what's happened to it it's just it does not sharpen well at all um, it's just fallen apart the woods just falling apart um, I don't know what's wrong with it really but that was disappointing but the reason I bought this set and I still don't regret buying the set because there's plenty of pencils in here which have got some unique colours so let's um, look at the colour charts for each of these so I'm going to start with these Brooke Funa of which I've got 80 pencils like I said for £11 something they do have um, so if you have a look close up They do have the name on there, so you've got Brute Funa or Brute Funa, however you want to say it. And then the name is not massively clear, it is actually quite difficult to see. But it, I think it says 039. I've got to sort of take it out at an angle to be able to see it because it's not entirely easy to see it. But they are numbered, so it is 039, that one. Um, and then the swatch for these 
is here so you can see this is the swatch and remember I purchased these from Amazon so these are the um, Brute Funa and you can see there's quite a few pastel like colours as well as quite a few neon colours in there so I thought that this was a very unique set in the type of colours that you get um, they're not as good as the square um, Brute Funa 120 set which I know many of us have got so they work nowhere near as nice as them in terms of lay down or richness of pigment or how I mean they blend okay but as you will see in the demonstration um, they can only take a limited number of layers from my experience anyway because these are obviously all my opinions um, my humble opinions so yeah you can see the the beautiful colors I don't regret buying them it just upsets me a little bit when just like this sort of thing happens but I guess they're cheap so you are going to get some pencils which are dodgy so those are, the, uh, are them the Brute Fauna 80 um, that I'm going to use in my little demonstration they are quite a thin barrel um, and you can see the core there which is very um, narrow in terms of diameter the wood is quite cheap they are quite cheap feeling pencils and um, they're very very slim but I don't mind slim feel pencils in fact I do like them um, but it, like I said the best thing for me with these is the unique colors so and the price of course um, second let's have a closer look at the um, beautiful pastelos now these I would say is a step above so these of course come from Poland I think I paid about I bought these about six weeks ago maybe um, and they cost me about 12 13 pound for the pencils and then another 11 pound for postage so about 23 pound or something like that and and that's a really good price and their quality is much much better definitely a class above the other ones um, that I showed you the Brute Funa Oily 80 ones um, they of course don't have um, they, they're a thicker barrel definitely a thicker barrel than the Brute Funa uh, 80 ones um, and because they've got no numbers I've proceeded to just put number labels on which is quite easy to do so I've just used number stickers um, that I bought from Amazon and very easy to see so I might do that with the other Brute Fauna ones even though they're numbered it's not that easy to see the numbers so I might still label them up so yeah you get 50 here 80 for those um, obviously there's no neon colours in these but um, you know uh, it's the pastel pastel tone colours that we're really focusing on here so really nice pencils I think all they say let me choose another one um, let's choose a darker one shall we actually so this was 11 so let's go for this one so yeah it says pastel coloured pencil Astra that's it really nothing much on there uh, so those are them of course those are the two budget friendly ones and the whole vines you'll have seen around these are clearly in the professional category I would say um, you know they are supposed to be light fast but they don't use the same scale as everybody else as far as I understand um, they use their own uh, methods to determine the light fastness which I guess could um, be biased in a sense if you, if you don't use the industry standard um, that's that's what I've gauged anyway but an artist would know better but yeah they are in the professional category they are much more expensive of course so mine are obviously mixed in with the not usual coloured ones but I can show you the 50 pastel set which I got a few years ago this is the swatch for them so they are absolutely beautiful I really like the way Holbein's lay down um, they are a mixture of um, an oil wax and fat core and you can actually feel that when you are using you know when you're using the pencil you can you can imagine that that is actually you know you can believe that that is what is in the core um, so beautiful colours, beautiful pastel colours, lay down is really nice, um, great quality wood which you'd expect for a more expensive pencil um, and then if you look at the um, you know lovely nice barrel um, 
you know, not overly thin or anything, nicely lacquered. And it's got on there the Holbein Works Limited, the, the name Horizon Blue, the light fast rating according to their standards with two stars for this one. And it's the pencil number which is 312. Oh, yeah, 312. So yes, um, that's what they look like now and their colour charts. Um, we are now going to maybe check out how they colour. So I shall be back with some black paper as well. Okay, so I'm ready to do some testing um, on some white and black paper. So I've taken out some colours that look similar in the three brands of pencils. So we've got the Brute Funa, um 80 set, the oily ones, and then the um, Astra Pastelo and then the Holbeins. So, and those are from the Holbein pastels. So let's start with the Holbeins. So these are the shades that I've actually used um, with, I will show you with the picture that I have started um, and I've been using these shades of colours and I'm going to colour on camera as well. So I'll bring you in a little bit nearer so that you can see better. So really nice smooth soft lay down of the whole binds as you would expect on the white paper. And you can see very pigmented, hardly any pressure at all, and, and you've got that. And then now we've got the Astra, so this is Astra 9, um, or similar in terms of smooth lay down, not soft, so it does feel harder. Um, if you look at the colour match as well, so if I go back to my Holbein, the colour match on the barrel and the actual colour is quite similar. So good match of the barrel with the um, actual core colour. Just bring these a little bit nearer. That's not bad as well on black card that I'm using. So yep. Yeah really nice for a budget pencil well worth getting um, and then these are the Brute Funa 80s and I tried to choose the colours as close as I could you can see also if I go back sorry I'm just a bit of a novice at this you can see that the colour match for the Astra Pastelo pencils is quite close um, it's a, obviously a quite a pale colour but you can see that the barrel colour is similar to the actual core colour which is obviously a good thing. Um, even if I choose a different shade, let's see of the Astra Pastelo one. So this is a nice bluish colour. You can see that's quite close match. Um, so yeah. Now for the Brute Funa one. So a harder pencil, just like the just like the pastel one but the colors really nice um, fairly similar to the barrel um, and yeah not particularly bad when you look at how it comes out on the um, black paper either so let's try another Brute Funa one so nice lay down and for a budget pencil you are still getting a decent pigment lay down in terms of colour intensity um, but yeah so that's that that's how they look when when I've laid them down and how they feel and now I'll show you in my circle of life books I'll bring you out a little bit so you can see um, I've been wanting to do this picture for a while so what I did is I started to um, very faintly in pencil I've written that I use Brute Funa here and then I used the H for Holbein's here the colours that you've just seen me use so these colours that I set aside of each um, brand of pencil for the blend and then this one down here is the um, the Pastel Oat. so yeah they're really nice I, I think 
that one at the top here this one is the um, Prutfuna and then the Holbein so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some other colour blends that I've chosen um, so I've chosen these colours for a blend and I'm going to colour on camera so these are the Brute Funa ones um, and the blends similar colour blends um, for the as pastel or I've chosen of these um, and then I have my Holbein's here okay obviously I can't get the exact colour matches because they're from different pencil sets but this is just to colour a little bit on camera so you get to see what it's like. So I'm going to start with the lightest colour and I'm going to start here. Should I bring you in even more? So here you can see that's the Brute Funa as well. So yes, laying down the colour, the lightest colour first. I'm not really pressing down, I've got very light pressure at the moment. Just laying the lightest colour out of the four colour blend. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well as well and um, enjoying your colouring or your crafting, whatever you're enjoying at the moment whether it be diamond painting or journaling or adult colouring of course right so that's my first colour onto my second colour so like I say the it's a snapped a little bit there um, the colour is layering on top I hope you can see I can get the orange there on top so this is only the second layer so the colour is coming on top of it which is fine So quite layering nicely and even though it's a hard pencil it's still you know you're not having to push too hard at all in fact I'm using I'm now using medium I'd say pressure but I just really like the colors in in this set this Brute Funa 80 set it's quite unique and different to the um, to the 120 square Brute Funa so I thought it'd complement them so that's my second colour right for the third layer now let's move that here so yeah colour is still going on top It's been raining away here in the UK at the moment. We're going through a rainy weather at the moment, raining all weekend. So yeah, you, you can see you can see that it's layering up fairly well. I am putting harder pressure on than I was at the start though, you know, with the first pencil. But still looking nice. It's definitely looking nice. And now my final pencil colour. <clears throat> so snapped a little bit there as well. I think I was trying to press on too much. So this is finding at the fourth layer it's getting a bit more difficult to get this colour on. But um, still managing. But I, like I say I am pressing down a little bit more than... Um, I might need to with the other pencils. Oh, that's how what I found when I was doing the other bees. So these are going to be <coughs> colourful bees. So there we go. And I'm going to go over the whole thing with the lightest 
colour pencil you can see that it's not as pigmented um, well I don't think they're as pigmented the, the brute fooners but they're still giving you a nice enough look for the price they're definitely worth it and for the unique colours I think they, they are worth it yes you may get like I did one or two dodgy pencils which sort of just you know they just don't survive for some reason in the sharpener um, but overall because of the price I think it's worth it so there we go um, I think that's quite nice actually so now I'm going to try move down here and all the way down here so this is going to be that's Holbein isn't it so what we'll do is we'll make this one a Holbein here actually so I'm going to use a Holbein for this one so let's have a look at the Holbein colours so first colour so much softer and this is just like this is pretty much effortless in terms of colours just coming down I don't have to you know really put any pressure down at all but I mean like I said um, there's there used to only be the um, Holbein pastels which were quite unique but now you're getting other sets I know there's a Marco Renoir as well this is my second colour now um, that's I haven't got those um, but I have seen them I probably won't get them because I've got I think I've got enough pencils as it is now so I say that now but I mean I'm not gonna say never <coughs> excuse me I think that was a cough and a sneeze at the same time So yeah, this is just really, really enjoyable to use. Um, and that's why the Holbeins are actually my favourite pencils because they're just so nice to use. Um, my third colour. So easy for the colour to just go on top of another colour. It just layers up so easily. And just so nice and soft. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this picture actually <laughs> um, but I ha will have to glitter it up that's for sure and then my final colour so yeah going on really nice and smooth but of course Holbein's are really expensive in my own opinion I do think that they are just a bit too expensive um, you know I mean I, I've got them because I really do really like them and I've always wanted them and I really like the way they feel how you know when you use them but the price I just wish the price was more reasonable because I I just think it's just too much I really do and then the lightest colour but of course you know you've got if you if they're out of your reach in terms of the price which is completely you know if they're just out of your budget then at least I would suggest so far you will find out what I will suggest I think the 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 pastelos are just brilliant alternative so I'm going to use the pastelos now that we've just spoke about them for this final B here um, and then I'll give you my finishing thoughts on what I think of these brands. I'm going to start again with the lightest colour. So just put these pencils here at the side. So much harder compared to the Holbeins. Um, not as strong with the, you know, when you look at the depth of pigment that you get, but the amount you get is still good enough. Definitely good enough. And of course, I'm no art expert. I do not claim to be. Um, these are just my personal thoughts. 
and then now I put the next colour on top you can see I mean the blending the layering with these pencils is really really good uh, you can't really um, knock them for that that is you know they're really good in terms of layering and blending Okay, next colour and just definitely in terms of um, layering I would say that these over the Brutfuna are better in terms of the layering much better to layer up um, much easier to lay down um, stronger core as well it doesn't snap you know there's there's more to it. I'd say the wood is probably better quality as well. Um, the only thing that I'd say is the, the other Brute Funa set is a bigger set and you do get some other colours in it which are quite unique. But if you're just after a pastel set then this one would be, you know, more than sufficient. It's absolutely a brilliant pencil. And to think that they are, you know, I think they're just kids' pencils, aren't they, rather than marketed for um, adult colouring so they're a love great find I mean I, I noticed them first because Debbie had them on her channel on a video quite a long time quite a while ago now so Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free and um, along with other YouTubers after that that I saw showing these pencils so yes um, I think that's the result for that one for the pastelos went down really nicely that's the result for the Holbeins and then that was the result for the um, Brute Funas which are still really nice so final thoughts final thoughts are that basically if you're on the fence about buying the Brute Funas you should buy them because they're absolutely brilliant pencils they are well worth um, the price that they are they are a lovely set of if you look at their um, colors again lovely set of colors um, and then if you look at the colors for the Holbeins <coughs> if we can get the 50 pastels side by side so these are the Holbeins, these are the Astra Pastelos. Um, I mean, you, you just, there's just no question, just get them because the colour range is brilliant. The pencils are good quality for what they are. Um, you know, they're really, really nice. So I think they are definitely a winner. Um, the Brute Funas that I purchased, I've just put them into this video because I thought you'd be interested in knowing that there is another set out there which has um, sort of pastel-like colours and some unusual colours as well as neon that you might be interested in and for £11 something, you know, they are really cheap pencils. I think they are worth it even though you get a couple of duds here and there which don't sharpen properly and you do have to be a little bit careful with them and they're not as nice to use in my opinion as say the pastelos but because of the colours that you get the range of colours and the fact that they are you know so so cheap I think they're still worth it so that's my little sort of a review um, on my thoughts on my pastel set pencils so until next time take care happy colouring bye